everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window. I am so thankful you took the time and you're gonna stitch with me today. We have a beautiful project for you called Super Bloom. It's the quilt behind me. This quilt is made with beautiful nine pieced block and then applique around the border and it is just a wonderful quilt to play and practice your quilting. Oh, I am so excited for you. We're gonna start with our first block and you can get the blocks through our patterns or you can purchase a kit. Some of you girls are doing our block of the month. I am so excited for you. Let's see what's in our quilting basket today. I have a beautiful blocks and those are the blocks that you get if you're doing this as a block of the month. We have a, a blocks that are traditional, just the fabric. We also have blocks that are pre-cut laser, all the pieces ready, set, go for you. So those are right here. For anyone that it's not a part of the block of the month and would like to join us and do the quilt, we do have few kits left. Notice this kit, this is amazing. One of my favorites. Inside, you're gonna find all your blocks beautifully pre-cut, isn't it beautiful? And then your background fabrics, everything is included. Today, we're gonna focus on just that first block, the one that I showed you right here. I'm gonna put that one next to me. Also in our quilting basket, we have a beautiful pattern called Super Bloom. In the pattern, you have all the directions for cutting, step-by-step -step piecing. The video is just gonna be a little bit help and a little bit of tips how to do things as we're gonna be working through our blocks. So that's the pattern. I love our Creative Grids ruler. The four and a half by 12 and a half is perfect for this project. We have a wonderful thread, 2310 from Aurofil. I love this thread. The color is gonna be perfect for it. It's just a light off-white thread. And of course, with every project, I start by putting a beautiful brand new needle from Macrotex needles. That's a Schmitz needle, but the Macrotex needle 70 is perfect for a really nice piecing. Oh, those are wonderful things. I'm gonna put them to the side and let's look at our blocks. If you have purchased the pre-cut kit, it's easy. Everything is ready, set, go for you. You just have to lay out your pieces just like I did. If you have purchased regular kit, you need to cut your pieces following the directions in a pattern. And right on a page two, you have all the directions how to cut it. So let me talk you through some of the pieces. The corner squares are super easy. You just cut a square. So that's nice and easy. But the block has a lot of triangles in it. Let's review them. We're gonna be needing a quarter square triangle. And now you're gonna ask me what it's quarter square triangle. You're gonna take a square, you're gonna cut the square twice diagonally, twice diagonally for four quarter square triangles. We want the bias to be right here on the inside and a straight grain on the outside. So that way when we are making our block, we don't get any bias on the outside of our block. All the bias edges gonna be on the inside. So you're gonna cut quarter square triangles for here and we need them in this area, this area, right here and right here. Those are cut from light fabric. Then we have another quarter square triangle. This one for this area, again, you're gonna take a square, cut it twice diagonally for four quarter square triangles. And we have them here, 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 and here, notice it. Then we need half square triangles. One big one like this for each corner right here. So we need a four total and those are cut from a square one time diagonally and they give us the half square triangle cut. The bias is right here, straight grain here. That's wonderful. And we're gonna use them right here in this unit. Then we have another little half square triangle, this one right here again. We're going to take a square, cut it once diagonally for two half square triangles. All right. All our pieces are cut, ready, set, go. Like I said, if you are uh, uh, using the pre-cut, laser cut, pre-cut kit, nice and easy, lay out your pieces, follow our pattern, where in the pattern gives you all the directions where to put the, piece, uh, put the pieces, as well as we have it in a pattern, a chart, 
where we show you all the colors so that way you know which fabric is which and you know exactly what you need to have it wear. All right, once your pieces are cut, we're going to assemble one unit at a time. And I like to start with the simplest unit, what is flying geese. Right there. This area is right here in the quilt and we need to make four of those for each side of the block. So right there, I'm going to take a quarter square triangle and I have two pink half square triangle. I'm going to grab them together, place them right sides together. Look at how nicely they're matching up. I love working with the laser cut pieces because they don't fray as much. The laser just gently burned that edge and it doesn't fray, so it's wonderful. I'm going to start sewing right here, straight down with a quarter inch seam allowance. And I already stitched one right here for you. Notice how beautifully I stitched that. I'm going to turn the seam allowance open open it up right there and push the seam allowance towards the light just like I have it in the direction. As soon as I finish this I'm gonna go ahead grab a second triangle place them right sides together see what I'm doing and right here I match this corner this point beautifully overlap here zoom 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 stitch oh this looks amazing notice this and I'm using my Orofil thread, brand new needle, and I'm using a perfect quarter inch seam allowance. I like to be a little bit almost shy on my quarter inch seam allowance because I know I don't have much room to square and uh, you know move. So exactly quarter inch will work beautifully. I'm gonna stitch it and then I'm gonna go ahead and flip it open, open it up the seam and push it towards this fabric right here. If you wanted to, you could open it up and leave it this way where one seam you push towards the light and the other seam you push towards this uh, pink. Why do I do this? Because when I stitch right here, sometimes it gets too bulky when I have to sew my next uh, unit to it and it gets too bulky and the machine doesn't want to go through it. But if you wanted to do it this way, push both seam allowances towards it, trim this bunny ears, square your beautiful unit up and I'm going to go ahead, grab my ruler, put it right over this cute little ruler, put it right over and square this unit two by three and a half. Perfect. Ready, set, go. I'm going to need four of them for one block, block number one. So four of those. As soon as you finish making four of them, you got a good practice and you're ready for the next unit to make the rest of your block. I'm gonna need two quarter square triangles in pink and two quarter square triangle in light. This unit, quarter square unit, is going to be right here in your block, right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to match it up and put it right sides together, light and a pink, just like this. And I'm going to stitch it up right up, zoom, 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 one. Then I'm going to go ahead, do another one, zoom, zoom, zoom. And I create a really cute chain of them. As soon as I finish stitching them, notice it, I just finished one. I'm going to open it up and push my seam allowance towards the pink. Isn't it beautiful? Perfect. And this one, the same way. Open it up and push my seam allowance towards the pink. Notice both units are the same. And now I can go ahead and place them like this, right sides together, just like that, right sides together. Nest this beautiful uh, seam allowances. Take your pin, and I love my pins from patchwork, the patchwork pins with the glass heads. They're so fine, so wonderful. I pin it right there, stitch it from the top straight down, and look at this. As soon as I finish stitching, I am ready to open it up in the front, but before I do that, I want to open it up in the back. Oh, this is not pulling apart. Let me just clip those cute little threads. Perfect. Now, I can just gently open it up oh this is gonna be great perfect oh wonderful 
just like that. If the threads are a little bit stuck, I'm gonna go ahead and just with my scissors pull that little thread right there so I get a good opening on the back because I want that center to lay nice and flat, finish pressing all my seams and now I can square this, press this unit and then square it to the exact size that is in the pattern what it's three and a half by three and a half, perfect, three and a half by three and a half, ready, set, go. We are just moving along so nice let's see what's happened next if i have finished four of my flying geeses and four of my quarter square triangle unit i'm ready to assemble this area of my block right here this area right here i'm gonna take one flying geese and i'm gonna place it right over my quarter square triangle unit just like this and then i'm gonna stitch it down open it up and i have a beautiful unit like this look at that oh and look at this you can also open the seams if you would like to do that i like to push them one way and the other way but you can try this is a perfect time with this block of the month to try to see what works the best for you try my way and do another one different way just to see what it works it is important that when you're sewing this to this right here you don't lose this point right there this is perfect as soon as you finish this unit you need to repeat it four times you need four of them for one block set them to the side and let's move on to our next step and our next step we need to assemble a corners of our block this unit right here this corner right here we have a blue triangle then we have a cute little square then we have two dark blue triangles those are quarter square triangles this is half square triangle and those are half square triangle oh what a wonderful unit right here this one i'm gonna start by taking this two triangles light and a um light and a dark and i'm gonna place them right sides together right sides together just like this i'm gonna zoom 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 stitch and do the same on this side oh wonderful stitch and you're gonna repeat this you're gonna need four sets of two because you have four corner units like this so you can try one see how it works and then do chain sewing on the remaining three to make all four let me show you how i did with that step pretty nice i must have practiced so right there i have it done isn't it beautiful and this time i'm pushing my seam allowance towards the dark and you know what i just finger pressed this one i was worried about touching this with my iron because this is a bias right here so i didn't want to stretch it so i just pushed it just like this finger press it now very important grab your scissors and do a little housekeeping right here there's a bunny ear that's sticking up just clip that off perfect and now you're ready to take one of those place it right sides together match perfectly this corner start sewing right here flip it open push the seam allowance towards the square and do the same thing on this side let me show you how i did yes so we did the first one push the seam allowance i just stitched this one oh need a little housekeeping i don't like those threads just hanging so i like to clean them right off beautiful and notice it i'm gonna now go ahead oh this thread really wants to be with me so right there i open it up open it up finger press it and then you can gently iron make sure you're staying away from this area because this is bias you will stretch it if you put an iron on it so just beautifully press it notice press press finger press it and i go ahead and i will take this triangle fold it in half get a crease right there so i know where the middle is match it with the middle right here just like this i'm gonna grab my little pin pin it in place and i can go ahead now and stitch from here straight down making sure 
that I'm using a nice quarter inch seam allowance and don't lose this beautiful point right there. Oh, this feels great. Oh, it just was wonderful to sew. And now you're gonna push that seam allowance towards this uh, beautiful triangle and you would make four of those units like I said, you are going to need one of them for each of the corner of your block one. I'm so excited for you because guess what? As soon as you finish the units, you are ready to lay out the block front of you and start sewing your block together. You know, sometimes we look at it quilts and we're a little afraid to make a quilt because there are so many pieces. It must be difficult. But guess what? If you just do one unit at a time, one at a time, one day at a time, things get so much easier. So one unit at a time, we got our blue ones, we have a center square, and look at coincidence, what a beautiful flower in this center square. Oh, this is gonna be just perfect. And now I'm gonna add those on each side and a corner, and look at this, we have four corner units, we have the flying geese units, center, and all that we need to do is sew them two rows. And I'm moving this a little bit apart so you can see row one, row two, row three. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this, place it right over, pin it, match it up. It is important that you pin and match it up so this point right here match beautifully pin, 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 so this to this, this to this. Now this is gonna be fun and easy. You place it, sew it, flip it open, follow the arrows in your pattern for pressing, sew it, flip it open, and now we're gonna sew rows together just like this, and you in no time gonna have a beautiful block that you can put it into your quilt. And I tell you, I cannot wait to see you next time for another block, block number two. I hope you had fun. If you are excited about quilting, just remember one unit at a time, one piece at a time, and things will happen for you. You will make beautiful blocks. As soon as you finish your blocks, check that your block is 12 and a half by 12, 12 and a half unfinished and then we can wait for another block. This is going to be so exciting. I'm looking forward to quilt with you and I have a little idea for you. Since we are going to be doing this every month, I think it would be a good idea that we do something fun for ourselves in our sewing room. So this time I wanted you to ask to start thinking about organizing your sewing room a little bit. Recently, I got this little cutie. I don't know if you have it. It's a bobbin saver and it is so cute to put all your bobbins in here. So start organizing, have some fun, just one block at a time, one thing to improve your sewing room at the, uh, every month. I think this is a wonderful idea and I look forward to quilt more with you. Make sure you visit our website at laundrybasketquilts.com. On the website, we have a wonderful blog. On the blog, I'm posting step-by-step -step pictures to help you go through them and look at some visual pictures to help you make your blocks. Enjoy your block of the month and I can't wait to quilt some more with you. Happy quilting and stay safe. Mm -hmm.